This episode is sponsored by Wix. Go to wix.com forward slash go forward slash simple history to create a website now. Gong Farmer. Disgusting jobs in history. A job as disgusting as it was dangerous. Until the development of modern plumbing, the gong farmer filled an important role within communities. Like most professions centered on the upkeep of everyday human life, these workers toiled tirelessly to maintain the status quo expected of a civilized society. The gong farmer was also called by another name, nightmen, reflecting the dark hours they were allowed to do their work. Collecting and disposing of human waste, after all, was best kept out of daylight and out of the sight of others. The term gong comes from the Old English word gang, meaning to go, and its use to describe this particular task began during the Tudor period of the 15th and 16th centuries in England. Before modern times, public latrines were commonly used in urban areas to collect refuse in large cesspits dug far down beneath them. To keep satisfactory levels of sanitation, the maintenance and construction of cesspits and cesspools was important in preventing the spread of disease within a city or town. Properly built, it might take a year or more before needing to be excavated, though many still needed to be cleaned out several times annually. Built less than watertight to allow liquids to drain out of the waste, what was left within the cesspit needed to be collected and disposed of in a more permanent manner before it began to overflow. This night soil could be taken to a larger cesspit outside of town called a lay stall, or in many cases could be sold as fertilizer to local farmers. It was the task of the gong farmer to see these things done, and though it was a job better left unspoken of by the local populace, many of them maintained a professional attitude about their work. Often the job would be done by three or four men at a time. After traversing down into the cesspit, the designated hole man would begin by filling a bucket or tub with waste. The rope man would then pull the bucket out and hand it to the tub man, who would then proceed to carry it to a cart for transportation. In larger operations, chutes and pipes would be employed to expedite the removal of material. But whether it was public or private, large or small, the nightmen would diligently remove the excrement from the pits until they were safe for use again. In many cases, when improperly maintained, cesspits and cesspools could break and spill out into streets, yards, and houses. If left unchecked, waste could make its way into wells and contaminate entire water supplies. Thus, the gong farmer was ever important to ensure the welfare and safety of the community. But besides being a nauseating job, the nightman's working conditions presented serious hazards to his health. They faced increased risks of infection, sickness, and disease from exposure to their harvest, while poor ventilation could mean death from asphyxiation. Though it often paid well, gong farming was always considered a miserable trade to be in. When seen, a nightman was essentially wallowing in human refuse, becoming covered in the muck as he worked away. Drowning and suffocation was a danger for nightmen and citizens alike. The maintenance and construction of cesspits and latrines presented hazards of their own. When full, the woodwork could begin to fall apart and give way, making traps out of the installations. In one of the earliest accounts of waste disposal, the 14th century sanitation worker Richard the Raker fell through the boards of a poorly kept privy and drowned in the excrement below. Gong farming as a profession slowly began to disappear throughout the 19th century, as better sanitation practices and infrastructure were developed to deal with the never-ending problem of waste removal. Though difficult to construct, underground sewer systems became a priority in overcrowded cities, and the invention of the water closet, or flush toilet, revolutionized the methods of refuse disposal. It was the end of a difficult and dangerous job, but it was a job most, if not all, were happy to see disappear. Website building is not dangerous, but it is difficult if you haven't built one before. So use Wix to easily create the site that you dreamt of, regardless of your skill level. Go to wix.com forward slash go forward slash simple history to create a professional site today. Wix has great features to bring your site to life, such as Wix videos, Wix Pro Gallery, Wix bookings and solutions for all kinds of sites such as e-commerce, music, hotels, events, restaurants and more. Build your own website and support the Simple History channel by going to wix.com forward slash go forward slash simple history or simply click the link in the description below to get started.